Since uh, he invited me to visit the headquarters of the Lions Club International, and I paid to work there, and that's a, a change of my life. So I have the wisdom from him, and also I learned how I can give better service to my students, to the community, and the world. So I just uh, talk about the wisdom of C. Mooks. That means, uh, although we are professors, we need to be uh, students as well. At the same time, so we can from our colleagues and also from our students and also from uh, people who uh, have the wisdom. So this is uh, the importance of a uh, moves. And I mentioned that uh, it's important to have CMOOCs. So Team University applied CMOOCs uh, for education and we have a uh, deep learning. And here we have a uh, a disciplinary, in the disciplinary and transdisciplinary. That's uh, the wisdom, not just uh, the courses or the uh, uh, several courses integrated together for students. The third one is uh, the most important part of deep education. So here we have uh, deep learning and your university will have uh, the image and the power from the Ministry of Education in your states through the cooperation of a university and university. This is uh, the uh, wisdom there. And finally, I would like to emphasize the importance of OCK. In order to make the world better and the society more peaceful, we need to educate our students so that they can become optimistic, altruistic, and also knowledgeable world citizens. Thank you for your listening and participation.谢谢张教授给我们这么精彩的演讲教育目标里面有没有相关问题的想要再次请问我们的庄教授问问题的我问一个讲我在高师大回来 Australia that they can get extra credit if they ask questions. And later, I told my student in private university, if they smile happily, they can get extra credits as well. That's a wisdom. So, so I hope that uh, we can encourage our students to ask questions. When they ask questions, they have uh, the uh, uh, proactive thinking for uh, learning. That's a uh, very important for how can we link the deep education to the world, please? Okay. Or the, yes. How can we have a deep learning to promote? Well, I would like to know how can we, what does the meaning of deep, and how can we, uh, through the deep learning, how can we promote it? 
world peace? How can we do to help a student to to uh, develop their characters and to help them to become better people and to be to have better world? Okay, so this is a very good question. How we can make use of deep learning for uh, motivate our students to care for our society. This is uh, what uh, your question is about. So uh, it's important for us to encourage our students to have uh, hands-on experiences with the society. Uh, of course, uh, the best way is for us as a professor to show what we uh, have done to the world. For example, so, so for me, I, I told my kids as a student to uh, uh, work for the society by using my example. So I raised funding and also I uh, uh, also put some money into the project of making the society better. So I, I will give you the example. Of course I can give this example to my students and my students get the idea and they can uh, take part in the project, so it's important to uh, invite them to take uh, part in some projects. So we need to enter the society. Uh, the Ministry of Education in Taiwan encourages professors to, to walk into the society, not uh, uh, only do researches in the campus. So I locate a good community where they have uh, a good uh, uh, wall, However, there were uh, weeds along the wall, and I saw quite a lot of fallen uh, uh, leaves. Beside the wall, there is a trash can. So I invited my uh, Lions members of the King Lions Club that I founded. So we raised funding and we invited the best uh, painter uh, to paint the wall. He created a, a very good uh, a dragon uh, together with the image of uh, a Buddha. So I can show you uh, the location and also the painting. And uh, we, I mentioned the wheat, right? along the wall, and also the fallen leaves and the garbage there, the garbage can. It's, it was not good for me to tell the citizens around the area to move away the trash can. No, don't do that. So I invited my kids to uh, move, remove the weeds and put the weeds into the gar garbage can and also uh, remove the leaves, foreign leaves, into the uh, gar garbage can, so w we have a cleaning place there. And then I invited my friend as a painter to do the painting. And I told him I didn't have a lot of money, so he would like to help. So I uh, pay just a nominal fee, and he enjoyed painting. So uh, after the uh, beautiful picture appeared, so the citizens moved the trash can away. <laughs> Amazingly, did you know? Ah, 就说最先呢，这一个那个在倒墙呢，是是空白的啊。那旁边呢是有这个垃圾桶。在那个旁边有杂草，有这个落叶。那说刚刚你说怎么样让学生能够关了社会？老师先呢、啊，所以我就先这个去邀请我的小朋友来，我跟他去把草这个落叶把它放进去。那么垃圾桶呢？哎，这个当然我们可以说，哎，这个村民赶快把它搬走。可是他们一定不高兴，他们方便了、啊。那我就是请那个一个画家朋友去画画，非常便宜，那个金不知道怎么说便宜，所以画得很漂亮。以后呢，而且那个垃圾啊，这个书也不见了，我都把它把它清得干干净净。所以那个垃圾箱呢，有一天去了就不见，不跑哪里去了，因为它真的不搭秤，知道吧
那个画那么漂亮，然后这个都是香美在那边呢、啊，怎么搭配呢 ？The beautiful wall and the gas garbage can didn't match well, <laughs> so they moved the garbage can away. So this is a good way to motivate our students to to love the world and do good to our society. So we need to use our own examples to to show how they can care more for our society and the world. Just 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 Manima. The problem I I don't know is that the the problem in India or not because um, um te I teach English and if you tell them something else and then the student will complain. It's what are you are talking about is irreverent to the the textbook. And then the what you, you are trying to do just tell us that rubbish and that is just lie. But it's not related to the learning language. They they might complain to the to the universities, what you are trying to teach us, just irreverent things. I, I don't know if you if you might <laughs> might might have this kind of problem or not in, in your classroom. Because the students want to focus in learning languages, not something else. Yeah, I I, I, I must agree with uh, uh, the professor. Uh, because uh, the similar kind of situation is uh, prevalent in my country also, in my classroom. Uh, even uh, in recent times, last say around 30 years, uh, less than 30 years from 1991, when India accepted the uh, World Trade Conditions, that is the WTO, which was uh, accepted uh, in India in 1991. The India was made a free market uh, uh, from 1991, and from that time onwards, India has given too much importance to the development in the fields of science and technology. And I'm I'm really worried about the pace, the speed with which the new generation, the younger generation, they are giving too much importance to science and technology. Uh, being a teacher of in the in the faculty of uh, humanities, uh, teaching language and literature to my students, I've seen that uh, even in professional courses like engineering and medical sciences, uh, they do have uh, even even in uh, management courses they do have communication skills in English. Uh, but unfortunately, too much importance is given to the learning of language, and I'm sorry to say. Mm, language learning is itself, itself a kind of skill which is very much relevant for a person to be a human being. Not, not, not just a, a, an engineer, not just a doctor. A doctor, first of all, I think is a human being and he, he, should, he or she should have the humanitarian skills first and it becomes a very important job for a language teacher like me to imbibe those skills, those uh, the qualities of a human being even if the person he or she does not belong to the field of humanities. So as a, as a designer of the course, I, as I'm invited, I'm, I'm um, the member of the board of studies in different universities in India. And as a member of that panel, what I try to do is uh, try to imbibe those skills, those qualities among the engineers, among the people belonging to the medical sciences, the pure sciences, that they, they will ultimately be the better human beings. Not, not only the engineer. Because, because uh, we are facing in my country, we are facing the problem. The engineers, they don't know actually. The, the doctors, they don't know these human qualities. They are only, only Trained, they are, they are just trained uh, to be the doctors, not 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 the better human beings. And uh, as a, as the designer of the course, what I try to do is I try to um, get certain modules which are based on literature. I try to pick up some beautiful poems, uh, say from the romantic poet of William Wordsworth and Coleridge. I try to pick up some beautiful poems from my regional languages like Marathi, Hindi and other uh, Indian languages 
and those poems I try to put in the in the translation in English to the courses which are specifically meant for engineering students, so that while learning language, while mastering English language, they will also master those skills which have been taught by the philosophers, by the beautiful uh, poetry which has been there written uh, through the, throughout the ages. So that that has become the prime motive for the language teachers like me. Actually, actually, uh, see rightly said that the, the students are very much focused. That it, it is it has been very sacred duty on the part of the teachers to make them yes focus is important but at the same time that focus should be towards making that person a better human being not not only uh, an engineer not only a graduate or a postgraduate or, or, or a doctor but at the same time he or she should be uh, trained in such a manner that he will he will imbibe better human skills which will certainly lead to the world peace as, as uh, uh, the professor um, from the uh, deep university he, he very nicely said that uh, we are we are um, re we are required to work for the world peace and we should we should try to keep this third world war the, the impending danger of the humanity itself away from the world otherwise otherwise we will be uh, leading to nowhere i think that's it uh,他講那麼長這個非常棒啊他意思就是說這個雖然說許教授說他上課學生會抱怨其實就是我們課程怎麼去規劃他就說要把課程融入在這個裡面啊所以所以這個非常重要啊就像我在熊中教書就一門課就說